Hello, this is Hades. We're in my home studio where I do all my covers, my sound stuff and all that. And today Ghost Impera was released. To be honest, I was really looking forward to this album. Uh, I had several listens to it since this morning. And overall, I think it's a great album. I think pretty much every song is awesome. But there are a few that uh, do stand out, like for example, Griftwood. <laughs> That's the opening riff, really nice riff in my opinion. But I think the catchiest uh, song of all is Spillways, it has an 80s vibe. And so I decided to do a playthrough of the solo, uh, which you're about to see. And afterwards, I'm gonna talk about it a bit and uh, show you how to play it slowly. I'm not gonna get into too, very much detail, but yeah. Okay, so we can uh, divide the solo into three parts to talk about it um, in an easier manner. Um, the first part of the solo is based around the uh, G minor blue scale, which is the minor pentatonic scale. Um, but um, uh, it has an extra note, the sharp 4 or flat 5, whichever you prefer. Uh, it's the same note, really. Um, and yeah. Although it's the, the G uh, minor blues um, scale shape, it's the, the actual tone is F, because uh, as you probably know, Ghost playing D standard tuning, meaning that we have to tune every string of our guitar one step down. Um, a fact that's probably worth mentioning is that it starts on the fourth beat, so you have to start like this. One, two, three. <laughs> And you're probably noticing that I'm not sticking to one position of the scale. I'm uh, moving along the board. This is for a couple of reasons. It has to do with the color um, of the um, pitch on my preferred string. So this note and this note are the same, but they sound slightly different. And also, the other reason for that is uh, so that I'm in a comfortable position to play the next lick. Um, now, this is a pretty straightforward part. Um, you probably have to pay more attention to the bends, like this one. Notice that I am uh, bending a whole step, uh, staying there. And then I'm releasing without uh, picking again. This is happening again. Here, where I'm uh, bending half a step and releasing instantly. And again here. Again half a step, this is the, the blue note. It's like a micro bend kind of thing. And I'm gonna show it to you slowly. And this is the first part of the solo. You'll probably nail it in no time. Now the second part of the solo features two guitars playing in harmony. They mostly play in thirds, but there is a slight deviation towards the end. Um, now, as was the case with the first part, this second part doesn't start on beat one, it starts on beat one end, so we would have to count in like this. One, two, three, four, one. <laughs> Um, so both guitars follow a three note pattern, they're obviously not the same notes as they play in harmony. And um, for the first guitar, the, the first group of three notes is this, the second group is this, and the third one is this. Now. There are specific rhythmic patterns 
involving these groups of three notes, so I'm gonna show it to you one by one. So the first one is played like this. Twice though. Now the last note of the first uh, pattern becomes the first note of the second one. So if we end here, that's the second pattern. Notice that the first time it's played just up and down this arpeggio. But the second time, the, the last two descending notes are played twice. So up to this point we have one, two, three, four, one. And then uh, the last group of three notes, so this one, is again the arpeggio up and down twice. And then we, we end playing the first group of notes in ascending um, order. So, all this together, really slowly, would be like this. One, two, three, four, one. And that's our first guitar. Now, the second guitar follows pretty much the same principle as the first guitar. Um, it's playing in thirds for the first two groupings of three notes. So, the first grouping would be this. The second would be this. And for the third uh, group of notes, we're gonna think of the pentatonic scale, specifically this position, which you might be familiar with, and particularly these four notes. And I'm gonna show you why. So, uh, the first pattern follows the same rhythmic pattern as the first guitar. So, this pattern played twice, sounding like this. Now, this ending note of the first pattern becomes the first pattern for the second, um, um, the first note for the second uh, group of three notes. Again, it does this rhythmic thing where it goes up the arpeggio um, down the arpeggio and then up and down again, but with the two last notes um, played twice. So... And then this note becomes the first note of our third uh, group of notes, where they do this. First variation, up and down, second variation, and then back to the first variation. So all together slowly it would sound like this. One, two, three, four, one. Again, one, two, three, four, one. And that's the second part, the second guitar. So before moving on to the final part of the solo, I think it's worth mentioning um, that um, in the release live from the Ministry that they did the other day, the ghoul played neither of the two parts. He played something with a, following the same rhythmic pattern as in the two parts that we've shown. Um, but yeah, completely different notes. So it sounded like this. So he follows the same rhythmic pattern, but the groups of three notes are for the first part this. Then the first two notes remain the same and only the higher note changes. And then again... So if we want to play this slowly, we have to count in. One, two, three, four, one. Mm -hmm. 
So it might be worth checking this out. Um, I don't know, he makes a choice to play this instead of the other two, maybe because they're not playing in harmony. But um, yeah, it might be a cool variant. So the last part of the solo is probably the trickiest one because it's triplets and it's placed in beat 2 end. So when you try to play it in slower tempos, it might sound a bit off, although it's not. Um, a good trick is to try and divide it in groups of six notes. So. The first six, then. Second group, third group. And then there are two extra notes, so the last part is... And uh, now, counting in is quite tough. So it would be like one, two, three, four, one, two. Um, the good thing is that between the previous part and this part, there is a rest. Um, so if you figure out the parts separately, then you can work on placing them um, on the beat as appropriate. And then, last but not least, the best phrase of the solo is the Pokemon lick. So... Thank you very much for watching, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. So, um, you can already hear in the background a bit of my Call Me Little Sunshine um, cover. That should pop up in a box right here in a second. Also, if you want, you can subscribe somewhere down there, I think. And then like below, comment, tell me what you think, what you would like to see, if there is a cover you want me to do, or a solo playthrough, or whatever. Thank you very much for watching, peace. Little sunshine